guys, it's Rachel here, also known as simply underscore RS on both Poshmark and Instagram. And today I want to show you how to get reports from both PayPal and eBay for your end of the month bookkeeping. So I'm going to go over four reports, PayPal fees, shipping charges, eBay fees, and eBay sales. So this way you don't have to keep track of every single item you've sold. You can just, at the end of the month, you can just get these fees and put them in Excel and they'll calculate all the numbers for you. So let's get started. The first one that I want to do is eBay sales. So you want to go to orders and go to all orders. And over here it should say download report. And they are working on improving something so we just press OK and go where it takes us. So here you want to select sold and you want to go from October 1st or whatever month you're working in to the end of the month. And then press save. Now it sends them to your email but it only takes a few seconds to get it. so once you click the link in your email it will take you back to eBay and you just press download and open here it is so what I like to do is I like to copy this report and put it in my own spreadsheet that I made so I put this under the tab eBay sales and we'll just leave that for now now the next one is eBay fees. So you want to go to messages in eBay and go to account. Okay, now there's a spot down here that says fees and you want to click on that. And over here you want to customize view and do the date range from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. and here are all your fees so you want to download download using a actually download as sorted because for some reason my date filter never works so that's why I have to sort it first so here it is and again I like to copy this and paste it into my other worksheet that I'm using and I copy into the tab eBay sales. Now as you can see here it has more than just um, final value fee. It has subscription fees and stuff and I account for that elsewhere so honestly I just delete these Oops. and then what I do to make it easier is sort by column D Oops. sort I call them D and it brings all my final value fees to the top because this has a lot of like fees that if you have a store you don't have to pay so I just delete them out of there and there's a lot of them okay so for me I sum this up And I know that my fees for the month were $81.02. Okay, now we're on to PayPal. So you go to PayPal. Okay, now where you want to go for PayPal, you want to scroll down to the bottom and press See More Activity. And over here it says Statements. So press the Statements. And then you want to do Custom. And a lot of these statements are pretty cool, so like if you have time, you can go through and see them. Like the insights actually shows you how many um, return customers you have, just based on like their email address and stuff. And I never usually have any return customers, but also it shows you where um, your sales are going. Like I had one sale over in the United Kingdom, so it's pretty cool. 
Um, but we want to do financial summaries. And you can go to October and create report. Okay, now this gives you all the numbers for everything. So where you find the fees is this says fee. And you can download this report as well into um, go CSV. Here it is. So these are all the fees, and you just want to make sure that they say they all say like eBay auction payment. Like here was a, a refund that I actually already accounted for, so I'm going to delete that out of there. But they should all say like refund or auction payment. And again, what I do is I just copy and paste it into my other spreadsheet. Into PayPal. And then I total it. You want to total the last column. Oops. My fees were $39.88. Now the last report we want to do, okay, the last one is purchase activity. So if you use PayPal a lot for other things, you're going to have to sort through this a little more than if you just use it for eBay. But let's go to CSV again. open it. Okay, oops. Here is everything. So the easy way to do this is to get rid of these top three and sort this by column D. Now you can see that this says postage payment. These are the ones you want. Like Oh, and auction payment, you want those ones too. But, like this one, I know that's when I bought eBay shipping supply, so I can delete that one. And, oh, this is when I paid eBay for the fees. This is actually really important because PayPal will show that you paid eBay for the eBay fees. So, so you don't account for that twice, you want to take it out. And you can even reconcile that if you want. I usually don't just because it's not usually that much off and it's, I'm not selling too much. So now this is what I have left. Okay, so now again, I just copy this into my own under shipping. So I sum it up. It doesn't matter what column you do because they're both pretty much the same. Okay, so I spent $220.50 on eBay shipping charges. So, as you can see, these reports are really good for, like, so you don't have to write down every single thing you do. You can just go at the end of the month, pull these reports. It takes me like 20 minutes once a month to do my bookkeeping. And then I can just pull those numbers, pull the eBay shipping, the sales, the... PayPal fees and then I put my cost of goods sold in there too and figure out what it is by item and then I just take you know the sales minus the cost of goods minus the fees all the fees and then I get my net profit so it's really easy to do it this way and it actually is a lot faster and I would do it this way like it's worth taking the time to learn to do it this way because it took me it still takes me like 20 minutes every time to find where the reports are. I don't know why I can't remember it, but I just can't remember where the eBay reports are. So I literally have to look it up every single time. But it's worth it because it makes bookkeeping a breeze and I don't think about it the rest of the month. I mean, I make sure that I'm on the right track, but I don't like stress myself out over the bookkeeping anymore because it's just so much better to do it this way. And they, like it, they're less likely to make a mistake than you are so just get the reports throw them in excel have excel calculate everything for you 
and then you have your bookkeeping done in 20 minutes and you can go back to like the more important things of your business. So I hope this video helps you and I hope it helps you have an easier time with your end of the month bookkeeping or end of the year bookkeeping. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you.